Good Monday morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff, joined by our executive weather producer, Terry Ellison. Nothing says easing into a Monday morning like a next weather alert, and that's what we have this morning. Yeah, perfect. Not, not one, but two. How's that? There two we go. For the Even price better. Of one on a Monday. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, at least... I, at least it wasn't raining this morning. I feel like driving into work on Monday is bad enough, but if it's raining out, right. I mean, it'll be raining on the way home, I think, for most, um, unfortunately, and then it looks like Wednesday could be a real soaker. Absolutely, inches of rain on yeah. Wednesday. So let's take it one by one, hop into those weather graphics. We have two next weather alerts, two storms over three days after months of hoping here, for a storm. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, the pattern has just been super active. The first one arrives in the afternoon. By, I think, the start of the afternoon evening commute, we should start to see some rain, perhaps a little bit of light icing north and west of town. And certainly as the sun sets, some of that cold air will drain in. Any standing water could freeze into uh, Tuesday morning. And then, as Terry mentioned, our next storm, heavy rain and also wind. A lot of wind possible uh, south and east of Boston. Yeah, two very different storms today. The the quicker and the weaker one, um, like you said, I think the only real hazard being a little bit of icing or a little bit of snow well way up northwest of here and then maybe freezing over tonight. But Wednesday is really uh, looks like a, a potent storm. Again, we can use the rain, but when it comes in, in droves and drenches, right. you know, might be a little hazardous <laughs> on Wednesday evening especially. But uh, the storm is, there's storm number one. Um, big ch big old chunk of rain from Buffalo down to about DC and as you can see as of 11 a.m. it's it's uh, nearing its way to Albany um, and uh, there are a few uh, winter alerts with it yeah so this is a winter weather advisory out Normally when these are out, it would be for uh, some potential snowfall and there is snow possible, but I think the bigger risk, heading into this storm is going to be the light icing that could set up. Generally, this is just kind of a, a approximation north of Route 2, along and north mm -hmm. of Route 2, the best chance to see the icing, but even some of those higher elevations in central Worcester County need to watch out too. Yeah, and I don't think this is gonna be, a, certainly by no means a major ice or snow event. It's, mo it's literally 98% rain for most folks, but th as we've been saying for the storms that we've seen over the last couple of weeks, higher elevations, northern Worcester County, Berkshires, southwestern New Hampshire, those typical areas yeah. um, are where we may see a, a coating to an inch of snow slash uh, a little bit of icing on, on the roadways. But again, for most folks, it's just kind of a chilly rain tonight. Yep, and it will be a chilly rain for sure with temperatures falling into the middle 30s. I, I, I feel like there's nothing worse than a cold rain. It's kind of, yeah, it December. Just December. Gets into you. Not only that, today, the, the earliest sunsets are happening right now, 411 today, yep. and you're driving home, it's dark, it's 36 degrees and raining. Yep. Uh, but on the other hand, I'll flip that around and say the earliest sunsets are starting, are, are uh, finishing up today, so and we start getting more time at the tail end of the would day. You like so there's the silver line. Would you like to explain? why the earliest sunset's happening today, but the shortest day is happening on December 21st. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm uh, putting solar, you in the spot. <laughs> solar noon, it has to do with solar yeah. noon, and uh, solar noon- You don't really have to explain okay. this if you don't want to. I, I know you can. can. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I, I feel the people clicking off this video right now, so I, I won't do it. I do think it's interesting that, so you're like, oh, early sunset today, so days are starting to get longer. Well, no, because the sunsets are still getting later. Um, Google it if you want, we won't waste your yeah. time here. But uh, the shortest day of the year is obviously on the solstice on the 21st, 10 days from now, but yep. today is the earliest sunset. Again, driving home, it's dark, it's chilly, it's rainy. Yeah, not uh, great, not, not ideal. Great. And notice temperatures though, as we get into our Tuesday morning, right as the sort of morning commute is starting, yeah. If we have any standing water on the ground, that's where we could see some of that freezing. This is uh, just a long 495 as you get towards, uh, you know, Concord, out past Concord. Uh, yeah, Lawrence, towards, Lowell, yeah. Westford, Worcester, those types of areas. Yeah. Definitely near freezing. So, you know, just when you're, take, a, take the first step out of the door in the morning should be a cautious one, yes. I guess. And then also on the roads, just keep in mind if you're up early, out early. I mean, it's really not gonna get very warm. It, all day tomorrow, but I, certainly early in the morning, the, the best chance of some. And this graphic also does a really good job of capturing the spotty shower chances tomorrow afternoon. If we were to get it, it's going to be very, very isolated, but in the areas north and west of town, we could see, it's on the right-hand side yeah. of your graphic, we could see a little bit of mixed precipitation falling too. And Futurecast also kind of shows it. There's the first half of the storm where we see uh, that blue shaded color in the pink. That's going to be your wintry mix, some snow, some light icing along and north of Route 
through two for Boston, south and east. This is all going to be a chilly rain. This is seven o'clock and most of the precipitation is done by 10, 11 o'clock, still holding on to some light drizzle along and north of the Massachusetts border and even into early Tuesday. But with temperatures kind of falling into the morning hours, any standing precip could freeze. There's your spotty shower chance just rolled through Manchester there uh, into the afternoon. Not organized, not widespread by any means. And then our next bout of rain arrives heading into Wednesday. And this is going to be the more significant storm when it comes to uh, how much uh, not only precipitation we get, but also the wind associated with it. Yeah, so here's slug number two. Uh, basically, by Wednesday morning commute, it should be raining just about everywhere, perhaps a few patches of heavier <laughs> rain. Um, and you'll see these colors show. I mean, yeah, right Wednesday there. evening between, say, 3 p.m., 7 or 8 p.m., some torrential downpours, there could be a couple lines. This, I mean, this particular model, you can't take this, you know, for exact as, exa gospel, as yeah. gospel, but right, this one shows a pretty heavy downpour and through Boston out in the Cape. But just to say that there are gonna be some pretty torrential downpours out there. Obviously, we're not at risk for river flooding or anything like that, but some street flooding, you know, with the ground being sort of solid and, and frozen, you know, not doesn't absorb the water quite as well. So there could be some runoff, some localized flooding, some big puddles, especially by Wednesday evening. Um, and then it sort of moves out quickly after that. So some it's an all-day. melting too in Worcester County. Yeah, good say, point. Yep. With uh, them having the snowpack that they currently have. It's not much, but it's some nonetheless. Uh, rainfall total, so from round one, a uh, quarter to a half an inch, which is, again, we'll take it. And this is this was the 2 or 3 p.m. through 11 p.m. today. Yep. And then if we zoom ahead, we'll, this is not, of course, going to be added on, but another couple inches on average uh, is likely on Wednesday. Couple, and again, I wouldn't ex take this as exact, but certainly some areas could see upwards of two to three inches of water uh, uh, Wednesday into Wednesday night. So that's, you know, a, a good, a good uh, drought denter, but also a little bit hazardous as far as hydroplaning, big puddles, stuff like that. Absolutely. And you were mentioning a drought denter. We are in extreme drought through Cape Ann as you go into Boston, Metro West, and into Worcester County. Uh, the first time we've been in an extreme drought since uh, 2022, so it's mm -hmm. been a couple of years. And these are the type of systems that we need to kind of get in order to flip the script and stop. Because yeah. I do think that we increased, right, a little bit, like we went up a couple of percent. Uh, from, we got, we we lost a couple lost percent a couple, on, the, okay. on the extreme area mm -hmm. week to week. But I mean, I, I think, I don't know that anybody's really thinking drought right now. Sure. It, it's worth a mention because if somehow we were to slip back into a dry stretch, that wouldn't necessarily be good. I don't see that happening. I think, you know, yeah, as evidence over the last couple of yeah. weeks, we got a pretty active uh, pattern going. <laughs> And I wouldn't be shocked to see this completely sort of wiped out over the next couple of months. But yeah. something to keep in mind. Um, but you mentioned the winds, and this is something yeah. that we're going to have to watch for Wednesday's system. Yeah, this is also why we have that next weather alert in effect, because check out the winds south and east of Boston as you go towards the South Shore, the southeastern coastline, and the islands. This is Wednesday afternoon, uh, 30 to 40 plus mile per hour winds. And this particular model into the evening hours has sort of a gust front that moves through. The actual center of low pressure uh, goes to the north, uh, to the northwest of Boston, basically over our area. But because it's strengthening as it does, it's churning up the, the wind, perhaps some wind elevated is getting mixed down to the ground. And so we could see 50 to 60 mile an hour wind gusts. 77 in Martha's Vineyard seems high to yeah, me. Right. Um, so maybe this model is just a, a, an outlier in that regard. But the bottom line is it will be windy Wednesday afternoon in the evening. Yeah, and I think primarily we're talking about in the warm sector of the storm. So, yeah. so temperatures, and we'll show you this in a minute, Anywhere from you know south of the Pike, Boston, southeastern Mass, uh, we'll jump into the 60s, maybe even mid to upper 60s in a few locations. And when you get in that warm sector in a storm like this, that's when you can mix those winds down from up. So for the most part, over like say northern Massachusetts, the winds are sort of all going to be aloft, so they'll yep. be over our heads. But uh, we get warm enough temperatures to be able to sort of mix up the lower couple thousand feet of the atmosphere, and you, that's when you pull these strong winds down. So 70 plus, I doubt it. Um, not to say it's impossible, but that'll be the speeds, uh, you know, a few hundred or a thousand feet above our heads. And yeah. if we're able to really mix out, um, but I'd say certainly gusts 40 to say 55 or 60 are possible southeastern mass Wednesday afternoon and evening. And then it quiets down a little bit as we head into Thursday. We start to get some chillier temperatures yeah. building in too. 
Uh, so highs on Wednesday, as Terry mentioned, we're going upper 50s, mid to low 60s, but there could be some isolated spots that do reach the upper 60s. Do we have the records? Yeah, we okay. sure do. Yeah, so <laughs> the records uh, in Boston, 68, 62 in Worcester. I think that's more reachable than Boston's, but yep. the bottom line is we're going to be in the general vicinity. Wouldn't surprise me if we're a couple degrees below that. It is very warm, and the interesting thing is it's going to stay warm into early Thursday, mm -hmm. but it looks like Thursday a cold front's going to swing through and you'll see falling temperatures throughout the day. Um, so we likely will hit our high for the day at midnight. One of those, or 1 one of those upside down days on yeah. Thursday, warmest early and then dropping off. And then, then the real cold comes back in um, uh, for later in, the, later in the week, Thursday, late and into Friday. Um, but it's pretty quiet after this. There's, that sto there's a storm trying to sort of move along in the in the Midwest, but that we have a big old high pressure area uh, set, kind of centered over New England through Friday through the weekend that was going to try to, you can see that storm just can't kind of can't push eastward. Right. And this is certain reminds me of the pattern we had through a lot of the fall, frankly. We just yeah. had this big old high sitting over us and storms kind of just couldn't penetrate it. Um, but at, no, at, at, at any rate, so after this, after this streak of two storms in a row, it looks like we'll have a little bit of a quiet uh, spell heading into the weekend. This is the cold shot of air. This is a jet stream map, basically cold to the north, mild air to the south. We get that mild push of air Wednesday into early Thursday, and then that bowling ball of cold air dips into the Great Lakes and approaches Thursday into Friday. That's going to be our coolest, stre coldest stretch of days. And then we start to moderate a little bit as we head into the weekend. Here's the full seven day forecast. We do have uh, 61 officially in Boston is our forecast, but you know, we could be easily in the mm -hmm. mid sixties, uh, but heavy rain and also very windy. So it's not going to be like, oh, 61, I'm going to go out and sunbathe. Yeah, none no. of that. You're going to be <laughs> bathing, but it's going to be rain. Uh, we're back into the forties. That's your afternoon temperature on Thursday and then 30s for Friday and Saturday before we start to moderate heading towards the That's second half. Sort of weekend. similar to the weekend we just had. A chill, you know, sort of the, the, the chill comes down, a uh, little bit of wind to start, but not a terrible weekend. I don't know about you, I was out at the snowport on Saturday. Yeah. And despite the fact that the temperatures were in the 30s with some wind, it wasn't that bad. The sun, the sun was out and it, not, not bad. So I think similar things for this coming weekend. Um, you know, on the chilly side, below average temperatures, but still, you know, you can get out and do things. I still think that people are ready for these type of conditions, right? Mm -hmm. Like a sunny day, but cool, right? Yeah. For so long, it, it we, is were talking about above, yeah, yeah. We, were, we were talking about above average temperatures. We were breaking records in November and October. Now we're back to, you know, hand waving a little yes, bit, like yes. more seasonable weather. Um, so that's that's the good news. That's yeah, and I and I and I don't see anything at least for now. I, everyone, the big question is, you know, we're two weeks away, believe it or not, from the yeah. you know close to the holidays. I don't see any big storms, any major snow events in the next say one to two weeks. Doesn't mean we can rule anything out before Christmas, but at this point, it does look like a quieter pattern this this weekend and into next week. But you know, we'll keep an eye on it. Historically speaking, only about a ten to twenty five percent chance that Boston gets a white Christmas. Yeah. So and you see what happens too when we get a little bit of sunshine too. I, I know. Where I live, yeah. we got uh, you know a nice coating of snow Sunday morning. By the afternoon, it's gone. All gone. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really hard to uh, get some of that snow to stick around. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Please be safe on the roadways, especially north and west of town with this incoming storm. It could be a bit slick on the roadways, and then overnight and even into Boston, we could see a couple spotty uh, black ice patches. And take it easy Wednesday too, it, even yeah. despite the fact it's warm and, and warm, windy, wet. A very anomalous day Wednesday. So if you're out and about. Uh, hydroplaning just you know just take it easy absolutely we appreciate you sticking with us here on cbs news boston jacob wyckoff terry ellison be safe out there